All right, guys, after all that hot weather we had, this uh, molding stuff that I had up on my ceiling just kind of melted and came off. So we're going to be redoing this area here between the, the, the wood here and up here. I'm going to put some shells in, but I got to take this whole stuff out. I just started taking it out. It's got screws in it because after it fell it wouldn't stay I used some adhesive it still wouldn't stay so we're gonna be redoing this just thought I'd show you what it's looking like and then after I uh, measure it and the plan is to make some shells up here at least to to here to the edge of this and then over here uh, but probably not Probably nothing up in this area since this is where the toilet's at, okay? So I'm going to try to show you this build, but this is where we're starting from. I've got to get the rest of this side off, okay? Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to redo the top part of the, uh, the van. That plastic that I pulled off, what I'm going to do... So I'm going to use these. Okay. I'm going to put these across the top. This will go on the roof. That way, then another one will go that way across. And that will cover up that gap that I have after I took that plastic off. Which is good that it's exposed. Because it does expose the metal up there. Let me get a little closer. That way... Okay, up there, okay. I can uh, see where I got to attach it, and that, that's a strong point where I can attach it, and it shouldn't fall over, so what I got to do next is uh, get this cleared out the way so I have uh, room to work, okay. Okay, I'm about halfway done. I know I haven't been showing you, but I'm basically cutting these pieces of wood and screwing them in. As I said before, I knew where my strong points were, plus I halfway knew where my, my wood was when I put the, uh, let me see, what you when I put the, uh, the ribs up. So that's about halfway through. And then when you do something like this, when you join them together, it looks a little better if you make a 45 degree cut on, on each one rather than flat button them up even though I'll have to kind of fix that one a little bit okay but yeah make make that 45 and slip them together like that okay now over here I got this piece on and I still got to get the piece up here to go all the way across this there won't be anything there well we'll probably just paint that but uh the wood is almost up then well, I got to screw that piece in back there and then we'll have the uh, the baskets on there and we'll be done with this this remodel and uh, uh, we'll see what's see what's happening next okay all right guys well I'm finished with the uh, putting the uh, the wood trim in the van as I showed you earlier what I had up there was basically just baseboard trim it was like a heavy rubber it had its own adhesive and in the hot weather that we had here and then the trip to Vegas you know at one time I had the thermometer in here and it was 129 degrees in here now we didn't stay in the van when we were in Las Vegas we went ahead and, and got a room but it, it as I showed it got hot so uh, if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe and a like okay now as I said before I didn't uh, show you me cutting and putting it up there because the person that's helped me didn't want to be on YouTube okay and they had to help me kind of hold the boards when I was cutting them I don't have a table saw I just got a circus saw and a, and a table and then you know they would help me hold those up now when I put these boards up here I pre-drilled the wood and then uh, I put a little small hole even though I had self-tapping screws like I said the self-tapping screws that I use 
some of them have like a little drill bit on them and you drill it in there and it'll drill through the uh, the metal now this is pretty heavy metal so what I would do is I would pre-drill a smaller hole so then when I lined it up it would it would bite in there would go in easier like I said you get your van and you build it then you, you find out or, or things happen and you have to redo it which is fine you know you can always make changes like if we don't want to have the same color we could uh, you know paint it and also I think I was talking about I think I was talking about shelves and what cabinets but I didn't want to put cabinets up there because I didn't really think I would need a whole lot of space so what I did after I put the uh, the wood up there I put some baskets up there just for, for small items. You know, you find out, okay, maybe I need a little bit more room. But I can always in, improve on it. Like I said, if I decide I want to put a small some small cabinets, I can put them. I just got to kind of, like I said, the, the van goes like this. It's not straight up and down, so you'd have to work that in. But it could be done. So let me show you what I've done. Let me bring the camera over there. I also added this little basket here you know i've already had this but just just to put a few more things okay and another thing i had to do when we were in vegas you know we would drive or drive around some of those roads were bumpy my curtain came down and hit one of my friends who's one of my best subscribers what's up kurt but uh this is this is the inside like i said you see the uh the trim boards there and we're just going to leave them the natural color then of course there's the uh the baskets that i uh, put on both sides and like i said if we need to add more you know i can put hooks there i got a uh this this big long magnet like if i wanted to put knives or metal things up there i could but that's the uh the second you know, remodel. Like I said, if you make changes, make changes. It's it's your it's your place. So hopefully soon we'll be getting back out on the road. Okay, this is Chuck, Glamper Van Adventures. You have a fantastic day.